I'm Sandy Kulkarni and we are going to go over today with our lab equipment which we generally use. Uh, we need to remember certain uh, equipment by names and how they are used for. So this is a beaker and beaker as you know has a beak and also it has got some measurements. They are not very accurate measurements but we can use it for storing solvent and also for pouring the liquid and finding out roughly how much quantity of liquid which we are adding there. Then the next equipment which we have is called Erlenmeyer flask. If you remember uh, this has a, a small mouth by which we can actually use it for storing the chemicals for longer period of time. We can use a stopper on the top and we can use the liquid for the storage. Also, you will note that there are some markings here which are not again extremely accurate markings and those markings allow us to measure the volume of liquid approximately. Coming back to the third equipment which is a cylinder, graduated cylinder, it has got all fine markings and then we can get a precise measurement of how much liquid we are going to add uh, for a reaction. Okay, since we are talking about precise, uh, I am going to talk about a pipette. A pipette is graduated, it has got markings and these markings are very accurate. Uh, we can also use a pipette bulb like this to actually find out and uh, measure exact quantity of liquid which we want to add there. Since we are talking about precision, here is one more equipment and this is called burette. There are markings on the burette and burette is used for delivering liquid into a chemical reaction. So these markings are fairly accurate and we get the precise measurements using a burette. Uh, next to that we are going to talk about these two equipments. Okay? These are spot plates or well plates. And generally we use these spark plates or well plates for micro scale reactions, small reactions. Then we have a test tube rack and a test tube sitting in that. Obviously test tube rack is for keeping test tubes. A test tube can be used for reaction. A uh, test tube is uh, the one which does not have any markings so we cannot measure accurately how much liquid solvent which we have. Then the next one is the volumetric flask and volumetric flask has usually only one measurement on the top and it also tells you how much is the capacity for the volumetric flask. This is very accurate and you can consider this as a precise equipment. Coming back to something which is a watch glass, something look like a glass plate. It's a shallow plate, it is a concave and then it can be used for uh, keeping some stuff, measuring some stuff. We can also use this as a lid over the beaker uh, to uh, protect the liquids which we have for short time. Then we have another equipment which is like an evaporating dish and we use it for evaporating some substances. Then we have a crucible with the lid. Crucible is used for heating some substances to very high temperature. It is made up with different material which is heat resistant. Okay. Right. These are hot hands and hot hands can be used for lifting any hot object. Let's say maybe we have this Erenmeyer flask which is hot. We can use this for lip, uh, picking up the uh, Erenmeyer flask. We need to get good grip for that of course. Alright, moving on we have these two things. Now they both might look alike but they are different things. One of them which is kind of having a wider uh, tongs here, those are called beaker tongs. It can be used for lifting beaker like this. So the beaker is hot, we can lift the beaker using the beaker tongs. The other ones are crucible tongs. And let me show you, crucible tongs can be used for lifting crucible. 
Now, can we use crucible tongs for lifting other things? Yes, we can also use crucible tongs to lift up, suppose maybe watch glass if it's hot. Uh, we can also use to lift up the evaporating dish if you want. So basically, it can be used for lifting up any hot objects which uh, are difficult to grasp. All right, if the test tube is hot, we are going to use something which we call the test tube holder. And let me show you, that's the way you're going to use test tube holder. I forgot to mention about the burner, the Bunsen burner. This is Bunsen burner. We get the methane gas uh, to this inlet and this is uh, used for getting the correct, uh, the right uh, plane. We can use the test tube, not holding in the hand, but we can use this test tube for a reaction and if the test tube is hot, you're going to have the test tube holder to grab that test tube. Okay. If we want, this is a test tube clamp and test tube clamp can be used for having test tube attached to the clamp or we can also have, in fact, uh, use this for uh, having this clamp uh, with the other equipment like even the RNMR flask, we can clamp that. Then we have a spatula, a spatula is used for measuring or transferring some solid material. If we are to transfer some liquid, what we have is a barrel pipette or transfer pipette. We use it from one container to other container and we can transfer. There is no measurement on that. We can just consider the drops for that. All right. We talked about the burner and flame. How are we going to light the burner? This is the striker and use the striker for lighting the flame. Lighting the burner. This is a wire gauze which helps the flame to spread and I'm going to show you the stand. This is a stand on which we have a ring stand here and on the top of ring stand we keep the wire gauze and wire gauze helps the flame to spread all over so we get the substance heated evenly. Uh, only other thing which I had to show this to you is this is a clay triangle. And there are times when we have to heat some stuff pretty strongly, we can use the clay triangle as support. So both the clay triangle and the ring stand, they give some support to the equipment which we are going to heat. So I guess we covered the basics in uh, equipment and how they are used for. So that should be pretty useful thing. So now I hope you all can understand uh, and explain to me uh, identify the equipment and help me uh, how to use the equipment. Alright, so I'll talk to you in the class. Thank you.